Things are turning from bad to worse, and we might soon be going back to those ages of the Great Depression, when families were forced to improvise new ways to feed themselves. This is because things were getting more expensive for the average American citizen to afford. The 1929 stock market crash drastically changed the lives of millions of people. Middle-class families became poorer, and poor households fell into misery. For over a decade now, our citizens have struggled to make ends meet, and many of them didn't have enough to eat. Today, things are just getting into a worse state as the inflation plague eats into the lives of millions of people. The thing here is that we must survive, and to survive, we must eat. Now, in today's video, we're going to list the 15 Great Depression foods that we might soon begin eating. Without further ado, then let's dive into it. Number one. Peanut butter bread. During the Great Depression, households had to come up with more economical ways to make their groceries stretch as much as possible. It is at this moment when baking items were pricey and turned into extinction. To survive, many Americans had to become a little bit creative, and with the few resources they had at hand, they were able to make peanut butter bread. While we were all turning back to those decades, peanut butter bread might serve as the best alternative for many families. It is one simple meal to make, and all you need is some flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk, and peanut butter. To make it, you start by mixing the dry ingredients, then add milk, followed by the peanut butter. Then pour the butter on a greasy pan that will go in the oven for over an hour. The result would be mouth-watering, and the smell of fresh peanut butter bread is still very nostalgic to many folks out there. You know what? You don't need to panic when you soon see stalks running out of supermarkets. After having this one in your mind, you should feel sorted. Number two, old-fashioned cornbread. When we talk about old-fashioned, your mind should be traveling back to the era of our grandparents and great-grandparents. Well, while this meal might be older than some of us, it could serve as a savior when finally the Great Depression hits again. One thing I love about cornbread is that you don't need to have so many ingredients to make it. You only need to have cornmeal, water, and salt to make it. And you can either make the basic version that was popular during the Great Depression, or improve the recipe based on what you have. Number three, meat and potato patties. Meat was often rationed during the Great Depression, and each family was allotted a certain amount they would purchase using tokens. If you need some proteins during this period, then this meal might just serve you right. Meat and potato patties were an excellent solution to make your meat rations last. If you are familiar with making hamburgers, then you should be good to go. However, for this meal, potatoes act as a starchy glue that holds the mix together. This method uses less meat as compared to a traditional hamburger, allowing a little to go a long way. What are you waiting for? Go have a dish for yourself and thank us later. It is cheap and quick to prepare. Number four, potato pancakes. While many food products were going scarce during the Great Depression, potatoes became a staple and were always found in plenty. For starters, the heavy filling nature of the potato was a perfect answer to the hungry bellies, and they could easily be grown in almost every climate. To prepare the potato pancakes, you will need a few whole potatoes and some salt and pepper. You can also add onions, garlic, cheese, or bacon according to your own needs. Number five, dandelion salad. As the name suggests, it is a salad that contains dandelions. <laughs> Don't panic yet; these pesky weeds are thoroughly cleaned and cut while preparing this delicacy. The basic idea here is to use the dandelion greens as your lettuce and add any other vegetables you can acquire. It is such a head start meal, and what you only need to do is thoroughly clean the dandelions to ensure that they are free of pests and chemicals. Number six, navy bean soup. You may be mistaken by the name and think it is food meant for the navies. Well, navy bean soup is one favorite delicacy that you wouldn't want to miss out on in this Great Depression era. It is a typical meal that many families would enjoy. It is very simple to prepare by utilizing whatever you had on hand, and it is also full of flavor. Packed full of protein in the form of beans and filled with flavorful root vegetables, this soup is hearty and affordable. To make this soup, you will need two cups of beans, one chopped onion, two carrots, one celery stick, two cloves of garlic, and any other vegetables you have available. You can also add ham. 
Number 7. Granny's Midcrest Goulash Goulash is a pretty standard meal in most American kitchens, even today. This macaroni dish is filled with ground beef and tomatoes and is a cheap, hearty meal that everyone will always love. It is easy to create goulash and you can switch up the recipe depending on what is available. For this recipe, you will need one cup of macaroni, one pound of ground beef, one onion, four garlic cloves, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one can of diced tomatoes, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and any other available veggies. If this doesn't make you salivate, then something must be wrong somewhere. I am very sure that you will always come back to give us a big shout out. Why don't you just start with a thumbs up? Let's move on. Number 8. Stuffed Peppers Stuffed peppers could actually be one of your favorites during these hard times. This meal is super easy to make and very fulfilling. It is definitely one of those recipes where a little goes a long way. All you need to have is one pound of ground beef, a cup or two of cooked white rice, some tomato sauce, and a few bell peppers with the tops cut off, and the inside cleared of seeds. Fill each pepper with a mixture of rice, beef, and sauce. You may want to top it with cheese and extra sauce and a small amount of water or sauce to the bottom of the dish. Place in a shallow baking dish and bake at 350 degrees to 400 degrees for around 15 to 20 minutes. Number 9. Wacky Cake when milk and eggs became a rare commodity and food rationing was a popular practice all around the country during the Great Depression, this simple recipe was developed out of necessity and, of course, chocolate cravings. Unlike traditional cakes, for wacky cakes you don't have to use milk, butter or eggs. Its preparation is very quick and easy. All you have to do is mix up cider, vinegar, baking soda, cocoa, sugar, flour and dark chocolate. You can also add other ingredients you have on hand to create your own version of it. In a few minutes of it being in the oven, you will have a frugal and delicious dessert or snack to share with your family. Number 10. Hoover Stew Named after the 31st President of the United States when the Great Depression struck, do you know why they named it Hoover? Well, it was when Hoover's term overlapped with the stock market crash of 1929, and Hoover was blamed for the desperate state of the period and this is when Hoover Stew came to be born. While recipes varied, the general idea of Hoover Stew was to combine cooked macaroni with hot dogs, canned tomatoes and corn to create a cheap yet filling stew that could be served to the masses. Number 11. Coffee Soup This unique and infamous dish created by the Amish became a favorite among coffee lovers. It is also an extremely easy to make dish and you just have to pour hot coffee into a bowl and add some toasted bread bites alongside cream and sugar. Even though it may sound unusual, it was a very common breakfast dish back then which provided the right amount of warmth and energy to our workers. Oops, don't forget how it tastes like honey. Just go and give it a try and you'll want to have more of it. Number 12. Poor Man's Meal Presented by Caligira Clara Canusiara, the host of the Great Depression dish is a modern-day budget meal. To prepare it, you just need to sauté peeled potatoes and onions in a pan and then add a little bit of tomato sauce. After that, slice hot dogs and prepare with veggies and then leave to cook. If you want to make it extra special, you can also add a side of ketchup for serving. Number 13. Vinegar Pie with fruits like lemons, strawberries, apples and mangoes becoming rare, home cooks during those days used to incorporate some tartness into plain pie recipes. Now, how do we make this tasty meal? It's quite simple. Layer the pie crust with butter and a mixture of sugar flour and nutmeg and then add vinegar to hot water and pour it over the layered pie interior, leaving space for it to bubble up. After an hour and a few minutes, you will have a sweet tart pie. Despite the absence of fruits, people often topped it with brown sugar, maple syrup, cinnamons or raisins. Number 14. Chipped Beef on Toast Here again we have another meat dish. As we had mentioned earlier, meat was in short supply in the 1930s. So how did people survive during those Great Depression days? These people were very resourceful and created this dish which was made with thin slices of beef and small amounts of butter and milk put over toast. It was quite tasty. That's why it became a staple in the diet plans of the US officials during the geopolitical conflicts that were happening back then. Number 15. Stovetop Baked Beans 
Thanks to their low cost and availability during the Great Depression period, beans served as the basis of many common dishes. Probably you might want to go back in time and try them out. It was a cheap and easy to cook meal. Baked beans were a popular side dish by then. The only ingredients needed here are half a pound of thick cut bacon, half a pound peeled onions, four 15 ounce cans navy beans, one can tomato sauce, three tablespoons molasses, two tablespoons brown sugar, two teaspoons dry mustard powder, one bay leaf, one teaspoon salt, and one cup of water. Why don't you just try this one out and see the results? For the procedures, you can check with Simply Recipes, and there you can be rest assured of a perfect meal. Well, these are just but a sample of those meals that will soon dominate our kitchens as we are nearing the Great Depression era. From the list, which one do you think is your favourite? Please don't forget to share with us in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video today. We hope you guys enjoyed it and felt informed. If you loved watching, don't forget to send us those likes. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more of our content. Thank you for watching and let's meet in our next video.